This is Quartzsite. The weather's great, hardly ever rains, sun shines most of the time. It's one of my favorite places, and I think it's one of a lot of people's favorite places because, well, look at all these people here. So a request that I've gotten is, Nick, how do I get internet when I am at a place like Quartzsite, when there are thousands of other people connecting the same way that I connect? There are a few things that you can do, and I'm gonna show you how you can do those in this video right here. But before I even start, I want to just mention there's one very important thing. When you're in a place like this and you have people all around, priority is king. So if you're using a service like Visible or any other third party uh, providers, it's gonna be very difficult, if not impossible, to get any internet speed here because you're gonna have all of these people who may be Verizon or AT&T users that are gonna be prioritized above you. And when you get to a place like this and the towers are super congested, there's not gonna be any leftover data, so it's gonna be very, very difficult. Now, that being said, there are some things that we can try. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the NC Connect 5G tools in order to get the best speeds and signal here at Quartzsite. Now, this can apply to the 4 4G as well. So just check this out. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comments below. All right, so let's head on up. We're going to put AT&T and the Angel Wings, and we're going to run a speed test inside and see what our baseline is. So in this 5G unit, we have an AT&T, uh, pretty much a standard postpaid plan. It does do 5G, gives us great speed pretty much all the time. So this would be one of your standard plans that you could get. And uh, we'll just hook it in the Angel Wings here and then run a speed test. All right, we'll give it a few minutes to just kind of lock into its normal bands and we'll hop inside, run a speed test and see what we come up with. All right, so right from the start, we have AT&T. We have a decent signal at 90%. We're hooked up to band two, 480376. So if I look here on the cell mapper, 480376 is right in town there. And so um, that's probably the tower that most people are connecting to. And so. Uh, we must see a pretty decent signal from there. So let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what we got. Okay, we do have some kind of service. Ping times are kind of high. Um, actually, not a bad speed. What is it? Uh, it's 10. Uh, 10 right now. 11. So... Uh, this is not what we were seeing yesterday as we came in when we were running speed tests. We were seeing about 0.5 to 1. Um, so I'm guessing that this will fluctuate throughout the day. It's about um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm guessing most people are out and about doing stuff. And so it, this will probably change quite a bit as we get closer to, uh, to the evening time. So we'll be, I'll be sure to run another test and let you know what that's all about. So I gave it a little bit of time. It's now 4.42 in the afternoon. And so we'll see what we come up with. Um, we still have a high ping time, and so that's really kind of saying something. It looks like there's a lot of congestion going on in the back end of things. So yeah, now now we got now we got what people are seeing here. One down, one point three four, and this is on AT and T still. And then oof, point two up. Oof, man, really. Okay, so. It, it was virtually an hour or so that I just let it sit. I go took a look at Nathan's helicopter and stuff. Just was talking to those boys, um, and you know gave it a little bit of time, and that's what happens. The secret to getting around congestion is being able to hit a tower that not a lot of other people can. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a special tool out of our toolbox. Since we're using the 5G, we're going to pull out the 5G binoculars. We're going to hook it up and we're going to hit a different tower to see if any other towers around here have some speed that we can get a hold of. All right. So if you take a look up there, we got the 5G binoculars hooked up and we're going to point it away from town. We're going to point it towards Blythe, California and see if we can hit a tower that's over there. When you're sitting here, your phone, uh, mobile hotspot, routers, those little jet packs, all that stuff will want to get to one of those towers because they are closer. So we're actually pointing it in, in those mountains right over there where there is a, an AT&T tower that serves that section of the freeway. Let's hop in and take a look and see what we're hitting here. Uh, I just set it up. So usually within a few minutes, the NC Connect will uh, find the tower that it needs to. Uh, so yeah, so take a look. It's got band 14, 484760. 
So if we look at our cell mapper here, if we're on 484760, so that's the tower just right down the, the road from us. We're probably right around here. And so here's town, we're right in between. So we're hitting a tower that's up over in this direction that I know a lot of the people in town just won't be able to hit. So let's jump back and take a look at what kind of speeds we can get. Now I'm kind of expecting the ping times to still be high. I think the fact that people out here are saturating the lines is gonna make the ping times higher just all the way down for probably quite a while. Um, so we got a ping of 708 but we got some pretty decent speed right from the right from the start so 26 27 and on up to 30 so the ping times are high yes but um speeds are decent so what this will mean is that we can do streaming and all of that stuff that we want to do we can do our work here it'll just there'll be a lag in between like when we hit a website it'll just take a, a few seconds or so and then it'll come come up um but the speeds are pretty decent but we got 37 down 4.6 we had a couple different options here to try to hit Let's see if i can get back to my cell mapper there's a tower 483031 behind us but in between us if you can see that there's like there's a mountain right there so that tower i believe isn't something that we could probably hit because this mountain is really blocking it so um it was easy enough for us to get to this tower and of course so if you look at we're right about here this tower is the one that it wants to hit all the time, uh, but we were able to force it over here. So there are other popular routers out there, and the only thing that they can do is either turn on or turn off a specific band. Uh, it, so that wouldn't have been an option for us, because if we would have said turn off everything but band 14, the router would have still wanted to grab that tower over there because it can see it better. Uh, so being able to force the modem and force the router to lock onto a tower is a very specific Instant Connect thing. We're very proud of that. It helps us, it just gives us more options, really. We have more options uh, because of the software that we have, and then we have more options because of the hardware that we're creating. This Sorry. I'm having trouble hearing you. It's okay. Watch. You don't need to hear me. That was at and I'm going to throw up a Verizon because I know they have 5G in town, and we're going to see what we can find as far as Verizon goes. So uh, stay tuned. Let's see what we got. All right. We did a refresh on the system, and right now we're on LTE band 66 and 5G N5. So with Verizon, AT&T, they need to have a, an LTE band as like the carrier band. For instance, this one, band 66, is the carrier band for 5G in the area. So we have a decent signal. Um, let's see if we got any speeds here. I'd say we got some speed. What, what I'm super excited about is that, 55 milliseconds right there and 37, 38, 37 down, I'll take that all day long at Quartzsite. So this right here, the upload speed could be a little bit better, but I'm not gonna complain. 37 down with a ping time of 55 milliseconds, blows AT&T out of the water, blows T-Mobile out of the water. T-Mobile uh, really struggled in this area we did tests when we got here. The best that we got is about two down. And we did a search all around. Uh, we were not able, we were able to pick up a tower uh, down south. That one was poor as well. So it just seems like T-Mobile doesn't have a good pipe coming in through here, a good uh, backhaul. So it, it, we got great signal. We got 5G, but the speeds were just bad. And the, the ping times were just bad too. Um, AT&T pointing that way towards town, speeds were bad, pings were high. Um, pointing away, speeds are good, pings are still high. So their bandwidth or their pipe coming through here is probably not very good either. One thing you'll notice as you drive through Quartzsite is you'll see these towers and then you'll see these uh, kind of round circular things underneath them. Uh, those are microwave backhauls. So some of the towers inside town could be being fed by those microwave backhauls. If that's what AT&T and T-Mobile are using, it's kind of understandable that the ping times would be so high because those would be just really flooded. Uh, there's not a lot of bandwidth that you can push through there. Now, if Verizon figured that out and says, you know what, guys, I'm going to put a fiber backhaul in here. It's great right here. Um, LTE, 
66 5G and 5. Uh, we have a grandfathered unlimited card, so I will be using this card from now on <laughs> here while we're at Quartzsite. Uh, the boys will love it, I'm sure, because they'll get some great speeds. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. You just... That, you... yeah, you can't beat that. So... Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Natalie? Yeah. Hey, we want to do some FaceTimes with you. Hi. Oh, there she is. All right. Hey, Nat. Hi. Hi. So you're on camera, too, just by the way. I'm shooting a video because we hooked up Verizon, and I wanted yeah. to let the people know. Yeah, it is. Look at look at you guys look great. I mean, you look great normally, but this picture is really nice. Is that Lojo? Hey. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How are you guys doing at home? Good. Nathan says, is it unbearable without us? You you don't you don't have to answer that. Where's JJ at? Hey buddy. Hey guys, Nick here, shooting live at the RV show here at Quartzsite. We're in the IMHQ, and I'm working on this video, and I wanted to shoot an update and just give you an update because in this video we saw that at Dome Rock, AT&T was struggling when it was picking up the bands from town, and then we were able to use the binoculars and turn it and pick up a whole nother band, one that a lot of people just weren't able to get a hold of, and we were able to find some really good speed. And then we ran a speed test with Verizon, and it showed that Verizon was really strong. We ran, uh, we did some FaceTiming and everything, and it was really cool. So what we have found since then, that Verizon has a tower right near the Loves that's there. So if you're familiar with the area, Loves is between Dome Rock and Quartzsite. We were picking up a nice strong 5G signal. Now, when we moved into town, things changed quite a bit. So I don't want you to watch this video and think, oh, Verizon is the best here at Quartzsite because Nick shot the video. Well, when we got into town, things were quite a bit different. Verizon's towers directly in town were completely saturated and no matter what we did, we could not find a good speed. So we actually found a great combination uh, to get good speeds here at Quartzsite and it's all about priority. So I mentioned that in the very beginning of the video that priority is king and if you have any third parties you'll be very very low. But when you get even closer to Quartzsite and when all of these people are here then priority is super important. So the winning combination that we have found is that using AT&T and an AT&T business plan, uh, the business elite plan seems to be the best combination because they allow those business customers to be on the same priority as FirstNet, which is the first responder system. And it's very high priority and uh, compared to the other plans that we have, a T-Mobile, Verizon, even our AT&T was a standard business plan when we came here. And when I found out about the priorities of the plan, I went online, upgraded it, and then my speeds went from just about nothing to about something. So let me run you a speed test about with our InstiConnect using that AT&T Business Elite plan. So we have it here, we have a great signal, we're on band two, which is a high frequency band with a lot of bandwidth. 480-3076 is right here in town. We're right across the interstate from it. And let me run you a speed test and show you. Uh, it is about 10 o'clock at night, which is a really, really hard time. If you notice the pings are really high right now, there's a lot of usage out there. A lot of people are streaming, but we are getting decent to good speed right here. Uh, this is actually a pretty big problem here because there are a lot of vendors in the tent that are struggling to even have any internet to make their sales. So when you see a speed like this, when we have people come to the booth and I show them that we're getting this speed because we're able to be on these high frequencies, uh, they are very, very surprised. So I know some people that are maybe subscribers to our channel had asked if we could possibly do a video and talk about how to get internet when it's so saturated like this and this is a great way to do it. So have an NC Connect that could be at the upper frequencies and then have a really good business plan uh, with AT&T and there may be one with Verizon as well that has an upper tier. I just, I don't know at this point and I wasn't able to test that, but the AT&T Business Elite plan was really, really good for getting us internet. Now also as well, I touched on just a little bit in the video about how we can use the NC Connect to actually tower lock. In a spot like this, it comes in really handy because the NC Connect is the only router that allows you to essentially choose the band that you want, choose the band and the tower that you want to lock to. And so that came in handy for us at Dome Rock. We could have actually selected that other tower without even using the NC Connect binoculars, but we get so much more performance when we're actually able to point in the direction versus if we were just telling the wings to do it. So um, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But uh, we are able to just simply select the tower that we want 
and we wait about a minute, the Insta Connect will lock onto that tower. We can run another speed test and we can essentially go through all of these towers here and see if there's one that gives us a little bit more speed. So to wrap it up, the best way to get great signal here at Quartzite is understand that there are a lot of people here and it's gonna slow things down a little bit. But if you have a good high priority plan and an Insta Connect, one that can connect to all of the frequencies that you possibly need. We're having a lot of fun here. It's great to be at the RV show. And if you are around, please stop by. We're outside at the Midway around the tent. Be sure to stop by and say hi. We'd love to say hi with you as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. If you have any questions on this, drop them in the comments below. I will do my best to help. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, bye. -bye.